Hi there, my name is Mzi. I'm a software engineer at the Script Runner for Jira Cloud team. So today I'll be explaining to you how you can use behaviors to manage your screen tabs. The first thing you want to do is click on the cog uh, next to your user uh, icon. Uh, click on issues, which will route you to this screen over here. You can then click on screens. Uh, once you've selected the screens, you can select the screen and what you want to update. Once that's been selected, you can add or remove screen tabs. In this instance, I've gone ahead and added two screen tabs. General, admin, uh, complete are the screen tabs that I have, of which admin and complete are the ones I've selected. Please note the name uh, as we'll be using this later. The next step for you to do is to go across into your script runner for Jira Cloud app. Uh, you can click on that. That'll route you to your apps. Once that is loaded, uh, you can click on behaviors. The next step is to either create a behavior or to edit an existing one. I've gone ahead and created my behavior already, so I'll be using that one that I've already created. As I said, you can create or you can edit. So here I'll go and I'll edit. In here, I'll give my behavior a name, a description, ensure that it's enabled, select the relevant projects, select the relevant issue types that you want this behavior to run against. The next step is to either add a script or you can edit an existing script on the behavior. Um, and we can go ahead and do that. I've already pre-written the code, so I will rewrite it together. Uh, the next step is to ensure that we um, can run the script either on load or on change. It's up to you. You can select and you can either choose to show it on create view or on issue view. In this instance, we'll do that, so that same thing. Now, what's the next step? Let us then go ahead and write the script that we will be using to um, to show our admin page when we create an issue um, and to hide all the other, so excuse me, an admin page, the admin screen tab when we create an issue or to hide and, and to hide the other screen tabs um, in the create issue. Let's go for it. So how would we go about it? We can initialize a variable const admin, uh, admin tab is equal to get screen tab. This is the new API that we have available by ID. Um, and then open up a parentheses and I'll type in admin, note the name and click on enter. I did not use parentheses there and we will find the ID for you that is relevant. The next step is to find the other screen tabs that you want to use. So we can say const uh, general tab is equal to get screen tab by ID. And then I can start typing in general. Uh, I don't have to finish the word. Um, into, uh, the code editor will find the rest for you. Finally, const complete tab is equal to get screen tab by ID. And I can type in complete, complete again. And there we go. What's the next step? The next step is to make sure that these fields that we want, or excuse me, these screen tabs that we want are indeed not, uh, not uh, undefined um, and we want to perform an action on them. So with respect to the admin tab, uh, we want to admin tab, we want to ensure that it exists. And if it does exist, we want to focus on it. And finally, for the general tab, uh, for the general, general tab, we want to do the same, but the only difference is that we want to set visible to false. And finally, um, for the and the same thing for the uh, complete tab. So we'll just do that, and we can then save. Click on save. This will go ahead, uh, save our behavior, so that and we can then go ahead and test it and ensure that when we create an issue we can then see that the only tab that gets uh, that is visible is the admin tab after the behavior has run all right so let's go ahead and do and test that so next thing is to cl click on create and this will then open up your your view and we can see before the behavior is run we've got general admin and complete the behavior will run and once it's run we will see that only admin is visible and there we go that is how you can manage your screen tabs and hopefully that explains to you quite well how you can do that using behaviors. If there are any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Um, otherwise, take care and have a good day. Thanks.